Well, hopefully you just watched our uh, review of the McLaren uh, P1. Uh, but the first thing you want to do when you get a car like this is protect the paint and the finish with a protective film. This is an amazing thing to me because I, I cannot tell whether it's on or not on. I mean, it's that clear. I was always a bit suspicious of these kind of products years ago when they first came out because I always thought maybe they yellowed or it just didn't look right. But I've got it on my, uh, on my uh, 12C. I've got it on the F1 McLaren. It's an amazing product. Let's meet the man behind it. Ryan Townsley. Ryan, come in here. How you doing? Good. How you doing, Jay? Okay, so what we have here is basically a clear protective coating that goes over the paint, goes over the paint, protects from chips and what else on the road, right? It's basically everything. It just keeps it's a barrier from the paint. So, you know, you buy the car for what it looks like and you want it to stay that way. And you do the windshield as well. It's a different film. That's actually a hardened acrylic that we shrink and mold to the shape of the windshield because nobody wants to have their windshield cracked. Right. And you don't get moisture or anything under here at all, no, do you? No, we, we roll the edges and seal it so no water gets underneath it, no dirt gets underneath it. So when we're done, it shouldn't look like anything was ever done to the car. Yeah. I mean, I was so impressed with my uh, 12C because I've had it a few years now and the front end looks fine. I mean, if, if you do get some kind of chip in the protective film, you just put another piece on. Exactly. We just take it off and uh, replace it and there's no damage to the paint underneath. Now, the thing that amazed me is I always wondered how they do it. I told him I had the P1. This is the very first one in the country. And he came out the day after I got it. And uh, but it turns out the factory these are all pre-cut, is that correct? There's some that are pre-cut, yeah. some that aren't. Uh, we were really surprised that this was uh, already ready for us. So all we have to do is we pick your make model, uh, plot the kit out, it tells us what film to load, and we actually have the kit already ready. We can wrap the entire car, every panel on here. Wow, okay. Now, so what's the first thing you do is what? The car is pretty clean already, but I imagine you have to go over it again. Is that yeah, we want to remove any grease, fingerprints, any contaminants, any dust, because Anything that's underneath the film when we start is there till the film comes off. Right. So we okay. want to make it look perfect before we start doing okay, anything. Okay, so you have your CSI team here, I see, right? <laughs> These guys, kind of, any fingerprints, anything. I have the Motley crew. Okay, so we're going to show you the process involved in putting this on. It's a fantastic product. Whether you have a, a Z06 Corvette or a Mazda, whatever you have, it protects the paint better than any wax, better than anything I've ever seen because it's, well, how thick is it, what? It's eight mils, it's about, okay. about the th half the thickness of a credit card. Well, let's let the guys go to work and we'll show you the process as it happens. Guys, you wanna come to work? First thing you're doing is actually very simple. It's, uh, I mean, it's baby shampoo and water. Okay. The reason he's using his hands, he'll be able to feel if there's any high spots on the paint, if there's uh, pinholes, anything, he'll be able to at least feel them before we uh, go so we can correct it or address the issue before we go further. Now we show them drying it. We definitely, everything, it's a, we kind of go with more water than less because the film can pick up fingerprints on the adhesive side. Right. So we definitely, everything's got to be wet. Hands, everything that comes in contact with that film needs to be wet. Yeah, so now what they'll do is they'll come over here and if you can see on the table, it might be hard to see because it's, it's so clear, right. is the pattern's pre-cut so they'll start wetting their hands and they'll start peeling back on the film so that they can now transfer the film onto the fender. Now, do you bring a couple of these in case you screw up? How does that work? No, we do not. Wow. They are, they are that good that uh, we actually don't have to worry about that. Water, water, water. You can't have, a, can't have enough uh, liquid when you're doing this. Right. So as you can see with the, with the template that they've got, it's already pre-designed to go around the headlight. Um, we've uh, actually modified the kit a little bit. We want the edges to roll so the, the film rolls around the edges. Right. So you shouldn't be able to tell there's any film on the car when we're done. Remember kids, when driving, always wear a condom. And what he's doing right now, you'll see him, he keeps moving the film around. He's trying to get the alignment so the edges and where we're gonna roll the film over the edges, that it actually is where it needs to be. Well, the wrap is on the fender here and it's not on the hood yet. I, I can't tell the difference, it's amazing. It's amazing. Now, is it the same film that goes on the windshield? No, the, the film that goes on the windshield, because you're gonna be looking through it all day long, right. it's, it's a hardened acrylic, so it's a, it's a lot more clear, and the adhesive on it is designed to be able to be seen through. And do, do I just clean that with Windex or anything yep. else, or do you I have can to use just plastic use a, cleaner? You use just a normal cleaner on it. Okay. Uh, it comes with its own wax to condition it because it's an acrylic. You wanna right. want keep it conditioned. 
And as long as you condition it, that you'll have no idea that it's even on your car, ah. but you don't have to buy a new windshield or get rock chips. Yeah, yeah. All right, well, let's, uh, well, you've seen how that went on. And uh, we'll do the hood also in the other fender, which is basically redundant of what we just did here. But let's do the windshield now. Let's see how, let's see how that goes on. Okay, it's about uh, four hours later. That's about what it takes to do the front. Now, let's say I buy a new uh, Z06 Corvette or a C7. What would it cost to do a car like that? Depending on the coverage, it can be anywhere from $1,500 to $2,500. Okay. You know, just depending okay. on what all you want to do. You know, as I said, I did it to my uh, 12C McLaren, and I drive that at a high speed a lot. And, you know, other cars that I've had before I put this on, you know, after a couple of hundred miles, got a little ding, 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 little, little divots in, in your hood, and you don't have that anymore. So it just looks fantastic. Ryan, thank you very much. No problem. Thank you. How long does it last? It just lasts? Next what? week it falls off. Next week, right? No, no. <laughs> don't get it wet. I mean, is it pretty much five, ten, ten years? Five to ten years. just depends on how well you take care of it. You right. just want to keep it clean. That's, that's its enemy is being right. dirty. Right. Other than that, it's good for five to ten years. Well, that's terrific. So there you go. Now it's time to go drive the McLaren again. Mm-hmm. <laughs>